Hey guys, what's going on? Wayne Grayson here. The folks at AEM asked me to head up here to Louisville, Kentucky for this year's 2021 Utility Expo Show to bring you all of the biggest announcements from this year's show. And as you can see, I'm here at the John Deere booth with a very special machine. For the first time in public, John Deere is showing off its very first battery electric backhoe prototype. This is the 310X tier. Now, if that X jumps out to you, that is the highest level of Deere's new performance tiering naming system for machines that the company introduced earlier this year. The X is reserved for Deere's hybrid and electric machines, and it's meant to signify that this machine features the latest and greatest technology and creature comforts. Now, as for the 310 in 310X, obviously that means that the foundation of this battery-powered machine is Deere's proven 310 backhoe, specifically the 310L. That's Deere's 100 horsepower model with 14.1 feet of digging depth. Deere says that this battery-powered 310X has been developed to match the diesel-burning 310L spec for spec, including that machine's 9,300 pound-feet of bucket breakout and 28 gallons per minute of hydraulic flow. But being a 310 isn't the only thing about this backhoe that makes the Utility Expo the perfect show to introduce this machine to the public. See, as part of the testing and development of this machine, John Deere has partnered with one of the country's largest utilities. That would be National Grid, a major Deere customer and a multinational company that supplies natural gas and electricity to millions of customers throughout the northeastern U.S. Now, as part of this partnership with National Grid, the utility company has put a 310X to work on several of its job sites in order to provide Deere with a testing and proving ground for this prototype machine. But National Grid is a bit more than a testing partner. As Deere's Brian Hennings explained here at the show, a battery-powered 310 was National Grid's idea to begin with. National Grid actually approached us here uh, a few years ago to uh, because they had sustainability goals that they have to reach and that they put in place uh, for 2030. And so they're looking at not only their on-road fleet, but also their off-road equipment fleet. And so backhoes is important for them of what they do for their on their job sites. National Grid has a particular fondness for the 310 model. After all, as a natural gas and electric provider, National Grid is mostly performing shallow trenching, making the 310's 14 feet of dig depth plus 25 mile per hour of top speed and self-transport a perfect solution for most of its job sites. Now, National Grid used the 310X on display at Utility Expo on its jobs throughout the spring and summer of this year. And the company's operators have reported back to Deere that they found that the battery-powered 310X did in fact seem to match the performance and power of the diesel-powered 310L. But for this week, the Deere booth here at Utility Expo is the machine's home, and it's where Deere hopes it can gain further insight from other utility customers and operators through an up-close look at this machine. Now, I know one of you guys' biggest questions is going to be around runtime with this machine, not necessarily power. We've kind of seen that play out, but rather in the amount of time you can actually run this machine before it needs a charge. Well, I think Deere has one of the more interesting answers to that question. They are pretty firm in that this machine is a prototype. It is a concept machine. And even though they are working with National Grid to kind of prove this thing out, they see the timeline of developing this machine kind of happening over not the next few months, but continuing over the next few years because chiefly they want to ensure that this machine has an eight to 10 hour run time minimum. But how close is this current iteration of the 310X to that? that stated goal of eight to 10 hours of runtime? Well, Deere isn't saying, only noting that there is still room for improvement in that area. Now, as for the battery technology on board the 310X, Deere has partnered with multiple suppliers to outfit the machine with battery power, but they aren't yet announcing who those suppliers are. Now, on top of setting their sights on eight to 10 hours of runtime, Deere is also going to be testing multiple different charging methods, including fast charging from a fixed charging point and mobile quick chargers that could be deployed to job sites. Now, you can think of those as big battery packs that could be deployed to a site kind of in the same way that we use battery packs to charge up our phones, just on a much bigger scale, obviously. Now, beyond the sustainability goals of utility companies across the country, like National Grid, another big reason an electric machine makes sense on a utility job site is just how quiet the machine is. Take a listen to the 310X in operation here at the Utility Expo. But, um, 
the protocol we like to Now, Deere says the 310X generates 20 to 25% less noise than the 310L, depending on the application. Now, a quieter machine with zero emissions is pretty much a no-brainer for jobs in confined spaces, urban settings, or near hospitals, schools, and other areas where quiet operation is key. But beyond zero fuel emissions and reduced noise emission, the other big reason utilities will consider the 310X, you know, should it ever come to market, the other big reason is the safety savings that will come through cost of ownership as an electric machine is much easier to maintain than one with an internal combustion engine. Like I said earlier, Deere feels that there are a couple of more years worth of testing at least left on the 310X to determine whether or not this battery powered machine will be viable in the market. Now, as such, there is no timeline for the machine's release, but the company is hoping showgoers here at Utility Expo 2021 and the feedback they provide will We'll push them further along in that journey. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up here from our time here at the John Deere booth with the 310 X tier battery electric backhoe prototype. On behalf of AEM and the Utility Expo, thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.